Well, then, let's get into it. Panasonic Air Conditioning Sydney Super Night. Well done, Chaz. That was a ripping drive to come uh, peeling back through at the end. Matt Payne, very disciplined drive today to be back on the podium and a uh, good day at the track for you, Tom, as well, picking up the podium and uh, being on the front row, leading some laps. Uh, Chaz, just how important it was today for the team to continue on the momentum uh, from Townsville? Um, this is a great table, by the way. I like it. Um, look, it's, it's, for us, it's not about momentum. It's just about trying to, to, to get results. And trophy, get, the day you go to races and get a trophy is a good one. The day you get to sit in the middle, you've had an excellent one. So today was excellent for us. We worked extremely hard, um, you know, from even from Darwin to Townsville and had great results in Townsville to, to this weekend where I think probably suited our car a little bit more. Um, and then complemented some, some more changes through the 90 minute practice and um, it was really cool just for me qualifying and top 10s have been a bit of a weakness just to be that close in the top 10 was really cool and um, but our, our race car was, was really good. We had different strengths um, to the guys around us and um, to compared to still having some similar weaknesses so our tra this track probably suits us a little bit where we are at the moment but um, always learning with our car so for us we're just focused on that. Is it fun hunting someone down at the end of a race like that? Um, it's funny when um, they said Matty was 15 seconds up the road or, or something like that, and then it turned out to be 17 by the time I come out of the pits, or 16 or 17. And I was watching him, he was at the last corner, I was just coming off eight, and I'm like, probably not going to use this word, the word I want to use, but I'm like, wow, that's a long way up the road in such a short <laughs> amount of time. I hope that young bloke's got a real heavy foot and hurts them rear tyres a little bit more. <laughs> so um, I, I tracked on. I tried to, to look after the tyre for the first couple of laps of the stint and didn't really make much hay. And then um, I went after just trying to, to maximise the lap time that, that I was kind of doing in the other stints. So um, you never know you're going to catch someone until you actually do it. So you just got to stick to the job and keep focusing. And, but, but when um, I saw the lap time gain coming at, you know, second, 1.2, you start to do the maths in your head. Um, if, hey, when are you going to catch them? And the engineers did that for me and said about five laps. But I was running at a hotter pace, so you're always worried that you're going to, to just end up back at the same pace. And, and like you, you kind of said, Matty had such a, a measured drive today, well, well belong uh, in front of his years, of the AG years, because he, um, he looked after those tyres, stuck to a race number, and, and um, got his team a result today. So it was cool to see. Yeah, it was cool to see. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Is it uh, enjoyable or validating, I guess, Matt, that the team can throw a three-stopper at you where you can drive helpful other past as many as you want, but then you can also deliver this drive today, which is the complete opposite of that? Uh, yeah, it was, was pretty funny when, like, our original plan was, was a two-stopper, just pretty much like everyone else, and then um, it's probably like, you know, 15, 12, 15 laps through the first stint, and the guy's are like, yeah, we're, uh, we're thinking of a one-stop. And then a lap later, yeah, we're definitely doing a one-stop. And then I was like, man, you guys got some balls. Um, <laughs> and I was sort of thinking, ah, oh, this is going to be pretty tough. But, yeah, it's it's really good to, to you know, obviously at Townsville we had really good car speed. And today we, we probably struggled a little bit. We, we didn't have much in the first and um, just with the track position, it's so hard to pass here with, with getting caught behind someone. So... I tried to uh, tried to make some hay while I could at the start and didn't really get anywhere. So the team were pretty confident that we can make a one-stop work. And then I, I found out that I was pretty much the only guy doing it. So then I was like, oh, this is uh, this is really out on a limb. Um, but yeah, just stuck to my guns in the second stint. I knew sort of where I needed to be at um, with the tire at the start. Uh, and it's it's pretty tough, you know. Like when when you, when you see 28 laps to go and you're rolling out of the pits, you know it's uh, it's going to be a long way. So it's uh, really cool for the team to to you know trust themselves and and I fully trust them to to make the decision and the right decision. And then I feel like we did today. I feel like if we did a two stopper, we wouldn't I wouldn't be sitting here. So credit credit due to them. They did a really good job, and I'm just happy I could uh, yeah have discipline and, and bring it home. Nicely done. Well done. Over to Tom. Pretty good day at the skids today, mate. Uh, put on the front row, led some laps and brought it home on the podium. Can't complain with that day. I mean, yeah, to get our first podium of the year is really nice. And, uh, you know, we just missed the podium a few times up in Townsville last time out. So, um, I mean, it's been a big step from where I was or where we were here 12 months ago, battling, you know, back in the back half of P20. I think I was battling with you. I literally, literally, literally was last, and I yeah. was, like, struggling to be last. I think I was, like, 23rd, and you yeah, were, like, I 24th. was, like, last, man. Like... So, um, yeah, <laughs> we're going to just forget about that one, but, no, really good day. 
Um, yeah, the front row was really fun. Just missed out on the po uh, on the pole with Cam. It was like a hundredth. So, but yeah, really cool for the team to get a front row lockout. I haven't done that for a while, so that was really special. And then yeah, off the line uh, into one. I thought I got the jump, but then I could still see better the monster car. But it's it's black and it's dark out there, so <laughs> I didn't want to like take the apex. I think that would have ended in tears. But um, now the car was really good in the first stop. So in the first stint. Um, yeah, we uh, sort of had a little bit of fuel in hand, but then in the second stop, uh, there was a little bit of confusion in the lane, and um, I probably should have gone before Ryan down the pits, but that's all right. It's all good. So, yeah. It's and not a very nice feeling, is it? Yeah, well, I didn't want to get a penalty like you, so. No <laughs> <laughs> comment? No, no. I didn't mean that in like a bad way. But, Don't be like know, that, Randall. I was just doing my, I'm just doing my thing. You should have went, mate. <laughs> I'll just second with Chaz. This table's great, by the way. <laughs> would, this, would this be a good time to bring up that were, the boys were sort of joking that you've become the, the sacrificial lamb at Sickford at, at Townsville? Do you feel like you're out there to fight for your own results as well? I, yeah, what was the I go was with actually that? proud of you at turn one. What was the on go the with start? that? I was proud of you. Yeah. I was like, go round. I don't go. know all this bull crap about this sacrificial lamb. I don't know what you're on about. You kind of have been. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, it cost you a win, didn't it? Yeah, I'm still yeah, dirty, man, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, let's move on. Perfect. But, no, it was yeah, good to get a podium today and um, yeah, really good points for the team as well. So. Yeah, our one-lap speed as a team has been really, really good. Probably weren't as strong yesterday, but I think Cam... Yeah, we both found some stuff in practice, and, yeah, the, the car was mega in, in qualifying, and then in the shootout, it just was really hooked up. And this track, if you've got good car speed, there's such long corners, and the track surface changes so much that the car's good, it helps so much, and, and if it's not in the window, then you just, yeah, bleed time. So, thankfully, we're on the good side of that. Do you know where you lost out to Chaz through the middle part of the race. I know there was the extra few seconds you had to prop in your pit stop, but just considering you were ahead of him before... The, the middle stint or the last? Yeah, yeah, the middle stint. Uh, I think I, I, I just didn't have the pace as well. No yeah. Yeah, OK, fair enough. Well done today, man. Really good, Thank really you. ripper job. Uh, let's open it up to the room. Thomas, um, you came out behind Chaz after your first pit stop. Yep. Uh, you spoke about that moment with Ryan Wood being decisive, but how much did that time sitting under Chaz's rear wing sort of impact your race? Uh, not much, to be honest. Um, we just, we fueled more in the first stops um, compared to Chaz, but yeah, Chaz was super quick in that middle stint. So I think if the second pit stop had gone the way it should have, we probably would have come out like a half a second or a second behind Chaz. So um, yeah, I think, Chaz had it over on us today, so I don't think we could have got the win. I think second was achievable, but I still would have had to pass that guy down the end. For sure. Uh, Matt, could you have done anything differently today to potentially get a win, or was second as good as you could get? Um, uh, yeah, actually, there's one big thing, is not spin out in the uh, top 10 shootout. That would have really helped. <laughs> um, we were actually on a really good lap, so that was, uh, that was a really bad mistake from my part. Starting further up would have, would have helped a lot um, and, and made our life easier, having a bit more of a gap for the last end. But, yeah, I, I think for, for, for the speed our car was at, I think, you know, achieving a, a second is... is it feels like a win for us today, considering we started 10th. So it... Um, it was really tough at the end. I, I didn't, I thought, Randall, I thought, Tom, you were going to be a lot closer to Chaz, and I thought I was going to be in for a bit of a, uh, a hunt at the end. So it was, uh, it was nice when Chaz passed me, and then I saw the sort of six second gap, and I was like, oh, I think I've got some margin. <laughs> it sort of feels like Supercars is maybe finally starting to get out of its <coughs> post COVID blues, and we're getting some of these longer races back. This is for all you guys as well, but we'll start with Matt. Um, these longer races are obviously way better in terms of strategy and a bit more entertainment and you know, it gives us an opportunity to see a race really play out. How, how are you guys enjoying these longer races? Yeah, I actually really like the, the longer races. You know, you sort of settle into your rhythm really early on and you've got a pretty good idea of what the team's sort of thinking strategy-wise. And it's like today, you know, we were like, I think we were one of two cars on one stopper and, you know, like Chaz said, it's like, you know, we've, I've got like a 17-second gap after the last pit stop and then you're, you've got to chase that down so you know it's it's something, you know, it's going to be a battle at the end which I think is really exciting for, for all the fans so uh, probably wasn't so exciting from where I was sitting but 
it's uh yeah i think i really enjoy the longer races i to be fair like i just i really like all the races i think the the sprint races at agp were fun there was, there was a lot of battling going on and i think that style of racing is really good and and, and the really longer races are, are, are fun as well so it's just the middle ground races where there's not enough where it's not long enough to sort of have a different strategy is, is where it gets tough are those races where you maybe only have to take two or three tyres, maybe a little bit redundant versus... Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's more like the shorter races like Darwin and, and things like that. Chaz, Thomas, can you guys add to that? Uh, I think the, t tonight showed another great spectacle, another great race with different strategies. I mean, the, the teams really enjoy it, this, especially the engineers. We've got some world-class engineers. And, and finally, when you have these type of races, you, you create strategy around it. So... Um, I don't personally. I don't think we should do sprint races anymore. Every race we go to should be a fuel race. It should be a Saturday race and a Sunday race. Um, the different tracks and the style of tracks we go to will create different strategies compared to what Deg is, how long the track is, all that, how long the pit lane is, and all that kind of stuff. But if you go to a sprint race, someone's going to. Everyone knows you got to pit once. It's either at the start of the race or at the end of the race. It's generally going to finish where you start. So. Um, you know, the options for, for Matty starting P10 and, and to go a one stop, which was super bold, it, it gave him the ability to come back today with, you know, good car speed and where he's out of place. So, um, I don't know, my still heyday of supercars was like that 2012 era. And, and you, I mean, I was working on the, the, the workshop floor at, at uh, FPR at the time, and, and you had this great rivalry between T8 and FPR at the time, and everything was just a, a, a two stop long you know, mini endurance race. And I still say the same, even for our enduro series, we should have a three round enduro series, get Gold Coast back, it's who we are. Get back to 15, six rounds and, you know, get the guys on the guns and it's, it's cool. It's a cool spectacle. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I, I like the fact that you look at Townsville and yeah, you had Maddie Payne on a three stopper. Uh, you're on a three stopper, we were two stopping. And this weekend, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the battle between is a one stop faster or is a two stop faster and you're still sort of trying to decide before the race what what sort of the best the best scenario rather than what the boys just said about sprint races where yeah oh, you know you're going to take rears or, or rights or lefts and it's only one stop so um i like that idea of everyone like you really got to get your brain thinking and, and same for us driving the car you know okay if we're going to commit to a two stop you got to drive the thing to a two stopper or, or vice versa you know with a one stopper like like maddie did today so i think that adds a lot of it just adds another element and and more times that i think we're in the pits and doing stops and it's action and entertainment all that sort of stuff and you bring you know adding more of that human element into it i think that can only be a good thing when they made the call to go to one stop, how conservative were you just knowing that you had to take those tyres so far through the, that stint? Uh, yeah, pretty conservative at the start. I knew, I know my Achilles heel is, is going too hard too early and I know that's definitely something I've been working on. So pretty happy to, to be able to achieve what we did today and, and really bring the tyres in gently and, and, and try and, you know, have our real peak lap time later on in the stand and not blow out so hard. Still probably blew out in the last three laps, but uh, I saw him going past and I kind of wanted to latch onto the back but uh, he was too quick so yeah really really happy for, for the team today Chaz first of all to you and Thomas no table hate guys but <laughs> what do you think tomorrow when we've got some UV on the track is going to do to strategies and the way it's going to play out is this uh, I think that was more directed at you I, it's it's another spectacle tomorrow. You know, we I felt like this weekend so far of driving these cars around here in the in the daytime to nighttime is you're going to require different things from your car. So there's no secret about that. And where we ended up in um, qualifying to the top ten, which cooled off a lot to the race, like we, we were changing our car quite crazy to try and get to those conditions. So yeah, tomorrow with an earlier race, um, it will be definitely different uh, with the UV out. Um, we'll just have to see what that kind of looked like last year, even though the timing's different and the race is different, and just try and see if we can learn anything from last year. But, um, you know, we, we ran, we'll just have to try and go off the, off the cuff, really. So, at least kind of qualifying is probably representative tomorrow, to, you know, wherever I can't even know what time it is tomorrow, but it's kind of going to be probably similar to what we had um, today. But uh, everything after that will be 
definitely an unknown again, which will make it exciting. And should this meeting be a Friday, Saturday night, night race, or is the Saturday, Sunday your preferred outcome? Um, I, I mean, if we're, we've got this great facility with night racing, so it's kind of a tricky one. It's, I mean, obviously Sunday we don't push on too late because we're either competing with other sports or people just want to get home on a Sunday because they've got work Monday. So Friday night and Saturday night would be really cool, but you're obviously competing against different codes and all that kind of stuff. So obviously the time slot for Sunday is probably the best representation that we can. Um, but yeah, for us as a driver, we wish we were probably racing in night again. It's pretty cool driving these cars under under lights. That that entrance and coming out, it feels like we're honestly. I, I don't know how the other guys feel, but you feel so special coming out. You got lights and you know flares and vibe like I don't know flames going everywhere. I kind of feel like we're part of like state of origin of the NRL. We kind of really feel like an amazing spectacle and. Um, yeah, we really that that tonight's really good. Tomorrow we miss that. Could we come out like, oh, it's just Sunday. It's just yeah, you can't race. do a shoey to the grid tomorrow, mate. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> Depends where you are, Tom. I might do it in front of your car. Race. Oh, what's that? I might do it in front of your car. Okay, right? see how that goes down. <laughs> uh, Tom, um, I guess uh, the last sort of twelve months and certainly the way this year's going. I mean. How much does that show for your career progression and yeah, just sort of how how you've come along into year three in the main game? Yeah, I, th I think it's a combination of things. Uh, certainly, I've learned a lot more about the tyre and there's a lot of elements. You know, the one lap speed is so important that really helps set up the race and then sort of like what Manny Payne said, bring, bringing that tyre in, how crucial that is uh, for tyre life. And I think not only that, uh, you know, the team is scaling back to two cars. I know that's obviously been spoken about a lot, but it just really has helped just focus in on, you know, the two cars. The efficiency has been a lot better, and uh, Cam and I work really well together, you know. We've known each other for a long time, and uh, it's really easy just working with him, and we both want the best for each other, and, uh, you know, I think we're, yeah, I think we're seeing that now. So. Uh, it's such a competitive championship, so to get a podium feels great. Um, and, you know, I was in the UK last week. I did a couple of days with Rob Wilson, which, uh, yeah, I've, I've been over and seen him a few times, but it was, it was, yeah, a bit touch and go with the tight turnaround, but it was great to catch up with him again and just work on, yeah, those little things that, yeah, whether they paid off tonight, I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure it only helped. Uh, Chaz, uh, I know it's still mid-season, but is this your best shot since 2015 at winning a title? Um, I'm really not thinking about it, to be completely honest with you. So for me, it's just about just trying to make sure we're fast and trying to achieve the results we did today. So as you've seen throughout this year already, there's tracks that suit some teams better than others. And, you know, I, we always thought coming here that we would be, we, we should be pretty close to the mark. Um, Townsville, I felt like, was a really good turnaround for us from after Darwin. I mean, Darwin is probably going to be our Achilles heel of the year. We gave a lot of points away there. We've had a wheel fall off at Taupo. We've definitely had some things that have been a little bit against us. Um, but, you know, you just got to put yourself in these situations. You've got to qualify well. You've got to race and capitalise when you can because you never know around the corner what's around. So for us, it's just... For me, it's just... I don't want to think about that. I just want to keep focusing on trying to make this car faster. Like I said, there's strengths to my car tonight that are compared to around the other guys, but there's some still weaknesses compared to the guys around me that I think we can continue to keep trying to learn on to... Um, when we go to some other tracks, we're going to... We need a more style car like some of the other guys. Uh, we're going to finish on a quick fan question, something nice and fun. Jeff Orchard from Sydney wants to know, uh, would any of you consider entering the Burnout Summonats burnout competition? So, Chaz, you dropped us a skit today. Uh, you reckon that's Summonats worthy? I had a red hot crack. It was a lot better than Matt Payne's one at Townsville. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Matty had a DNS at Townsville. So. But, you know, it's Saturday and you don't get these wins that often. You've got to celebrate and send it. So I'm probably sure the brakes and the drive line and everything else in the middle of it probably didn't really like it, but... I was loving it in there. So. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to have a crack on my next one. Yeah. I'm going to have I'll, 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 you, I'll, I'll only you, Chaz. You should have, have just done it today. We I reckon, just, hey, Matt, some... just unplug the radio once you finish and yeah, just the, don't then ask. No, then then I don't ask for me, forgiveness no. and permission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not entering summer nights. I still think it was, it was, it was, it was OK, but it, there's always room for improvement. There's work to do. Well, maybe we'll see one tomorrow. Uh, congrats, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Chad.